Welcome to our subnet in IPv6. I'm not going to teach hexadecimal or IPv6 addressing. Uh, the reason is, as I've explained elsewhere, this is a lab guide. So the whole point of this is to show you how to apply whatever theory book you've read. I'd, and I certainly wouldn't blame you if you uh, did this course and then went back and read a book. It would probably help doing it that way. So you normally handed a slash 48 subnet from your ISP and then what normally would happen is you would use uh, subnetting up to the 64th bit. Uh, if you do so you get 65,000 uh, networks and um, subnets and each subnet has billions of available addresses. So there's no shortage whatsoever. You're never going to worry about running out of um, hosts. And to be honest, 65,000 subnets is probably more than enough. You can subnet off the boundary. You can subnet on a nibble or wherever you wish. You can use the zero address, uh, but I recommend you go through whatever theory book. Um, I prefer to keep it simple personally. Um, you know, what you do on your network is obviously going to be down to the design and planning team. So what we're going to be doing is taking the uh, network address provided by our, our ISP which is up to the 48th, 48th bit and then we'll be counting up in hexadecimal values from um, the zero value to the 16th available value. Obviously we could keep counting up to something like I said earlier 60 uh, was it 64,000 and something but this would be a very very long video if we did that. So we'll start off we can use the uh, zero subnet so and it all starts off with the ISP assigned value which ends in 1234 and then I'll do uh, the one colon slash 64 for the second subnet so I'll just make the font a little bit bigger a bit thicker and this is what you would do in each interface of your uh, network for your router or wherever would uh, you'd have a different subnet so your first host would be uh, one for example, the second one, two, three, four, and so on. Or you could use auto address assignment, which is covered in um, the, the network plus Cisco CCNA, one of the plug and play options. So the only thing I don't want you to get caught out with if you get asked this in the exam or in an interview question is just remember a couple of things. The first thing is we can start off at zero. Zero is a legitimate uh, network address for IPv6. And the other thing is you're going to get up to number nine and your brain is going to be tempted to say the next number's 10. It isn't if you're counting in hex. You wouldn't um, use the value 10. We're going to um, go to the next value here, which is uh, subnet 11. And we're going to use uh, the value A. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, and so on. You must learn some uh, basic hexadecimal counting if you're, hope, if you're going to hope to stay in IT. Unfortunately, there's no avoiding it, but it is pretty logical once you've worked it out a few times. So we're coming to our last of our first 16 available subnets, and that's more than enough for us to be going on with. I don't think that give you anything tougher in the exam or in an interview. Alright, so 16, uh, first 16 IPv6 subnets.